What's up you guys, Pitbull Torres here at the Red Reed Life HQ. I've been wanting to make a video about mobility and the stuff I do, especially, um, I mean, especially the exercise that helped me um, come back from my knee injury because I had a knee injury and um, it was caused from lack of mobility in my ankle and in my hip. So my quad compensated and that's why I hurt my quad. And AccuMobility, this is company right here, AccuMobility.com. They got these trigger point releases. This is probably my favorite tool out of all the stuff they have online. This is their foam molar right here. It's super big. Allows you to get that really um, big arch, especially like for your adductors and stuff. It's just um, a lot better. I'm gonna show you in the video. But yeah, you guys need to make sure you guys follow AccuMobility. All right, first things first, we're gonna go over their foam roller. Um, like I said, it's a lot bigger, so it allows you to get more of an arch. My probably favorite thing is like when I roll out my adductors, it's a lot higher, so I get like a more of a growing stretch. Um, and honestly, also the benefits, it's it's bad to roll on your spine, like to like a, like a normal flat roller. A lot of people love the feeling when they get on a foam roller, but putting that much pressure on your spine is bad, and that's why they have these little uh, divots, or I mean, little a little gap in between these big balls or circles right here. They have a a flat line right here so you're you're not you're not constantly putting pressure on your spine and you can really feel it when you're going back it doesn't hurt your back it really opens up your it's called your t-spine mobility just the mobility in the middle of your back so i'm going to show you like how i start on it in the middle of my back center like i said it's nice because it doesn't rest on your spine from here all i'm going to do is roll to like the middle of my back and from here i'm just going to lean my hands back the first time I got here, I heard a nasty crack. I'm just, just doing this right here. Um, you can take um, deep, deep breaths into your nose, but out through your mouth, and you'll feel the pressure release through your hips and your lower back and all down right here. And like I said, you can challenge your, not challenge yourself, but put more pressure by holding like a little five pound, ten pound plate. It'll really open up. Your, like I said, thoracic mobility, your T-spine mobility in the middle of your back. Also help open up your lats too. <sighs> the biggest thing is breathing. Everyone gets like, these things and they go like this and they don't breathe and they shake and you're not really doing anything. You have to like, really just get on here and relax. Just breathe, take deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your back. Just out through your back, out through your mouth. All right, just doing like, like I said, getting your hips up and leaning your hands back. It's like my favorite one, just to really open up my mobility in my back. A lot of us, we're all sitting down and we're super internally rotated, so our back mobility is horrible. So that's probably one of my favorite ones. Now we're gonna go into rolling out your adductors. This is probably one of the best things about the size of this thing, because the lower ones, you can't really get a good stretch with this one so it's so high I can put it on my adductors right here and roll out and really get a good stretch especially because it's, it's opening up my groin right here and another thing um, it's very good to roll out but I'm gonna talk about um, like what's it called active like um activation uh, what is it? Oh, I forgot what it's called active release yeah active release you want to um, active release your muscles instead of rolling out so right here me activating my leg out, I'm putting pressure on my adductor and it's releasing through these little styrofoam rubber balls right here. So this is active releasing. Like I said, just because the foam roller is a lot more higher than a normal traditional foam roller, it's really opening up my growing. Active releasing is way better than stretching before you work out or rolling out. You always wanna activate your muscles. Like um, one of these guys that helps me out with mobility talks about your muscles being like um, a tire to a car. If they're flat, they're not gonna roll properly. If you're doing this right here, it's like pumping air into your muscles. So you get those tires nice filled up with air so it could roll good. Cause if you have a car that's tires are flat and shit ain't gonna go anywhere. So that's the way I like to think of it. So active release, just like this. Now we're gonna go and spend. You can do so many things with this thing, like to the height. The little one's awkward. You could like roll out your triceps, pull this way. And like I said, active release. You can go like this to release your triceps, putting pressure. You can even help roll out your pecs with this thing. It's perfect height, it's not too low. 
It's probably also one of my favorite ones because my pecs are so big and always tight. So just going like this and then active releasing. So coming here, moving like I'm bench pressing, pulling my elbow in. Boom, active, um, active releasing my chest. You can even go right here and try to get that elbow up. Look at it. I have no mobility in my front delt. Look at it. I can't even get my arm back. It should go back like that. Ugh. Can't even get it back, but if you see someone flexible, they'll be able to do that. So like I'm talking a lot about this. I'm gonna, I mean, help you guys out the most I can. And I'm telling you, active releasing is the best thing you need to be doing. Like rolling out side to side, yeah, it feels good, but you're not really doing anything. You need to really get that muscle activated. That's why they have these little knobbies. So it helps release that muscle. Man, this is even worse. Oh. Obviously, roll out the quad, super nice, the height of it. Get your full quad on here. Give you a good stretch, and like I'm saying, I'm telling you, you guys need to start active releasing way more than just rolling out. Rolling out ain't gonna do nothing for you. You need to really actively release. I like doing five repetitions, and then going down lower to my leg. Five repetitions, and then going lower to my leg. Five repetitions. And then go lower to my leg, all the way down to my knee. Oh. Obviously, for the hamstrings and the glutes, very nice to roll out on here. You always get on that low one and it's super awkward because it's so low to the ground. This one is a lot more easier to get to your hamstrings. All right, guys, next thing is the active mobility. This is like the level one they have, I think three of these. Um, this is the softest one, and they have one that's a little bit harder. This has by far changed like everything for me. Active releasing, like I said, the, on the foam roller, it's good, but this is more like a trigger point. You can find it, like every muscle with this thing. And you notice they got the same um, design on a lot of their stuff. It's like this type of trigger point. It's just pretty much a circle, like a lacrosse ball rolled out on Tons of the cross ball softballs, but the thing is, what they're made out of, it's a lot more softer. So your muscle, it can actually relax and release. Like I said, you get on these lacrosse balls, and you're, you can't even breathe. You're trying moving around, and it hurts. And so your body is just like doesn't like it. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna relax. So I bought the softest one. Like I said, you can put on your freaking pecs. I'm gonna show you. I go against the wall. Show you how you do it against my pecs. I do it on my glute. By far, I have super bad tightness in my glutes from years of pulling sumo, squatting wide, normal squats. I've just like really never focused on mobility. I'll roll on the foam roller. All right, I'm good. I'm gonna go to the thing. So I have years of tight hips and this thing has changed my life. Like I said, I hurt my knee due to lack of mobility in my hip and my ankle. And so I'm gonna show you the exercises that help me get rid of that. I'm, I'm, I squatted 415 or 425 for 10. So today i'm going to show you guys how to roll um release your glute so lay it down wherever you please and the cool thing is like i said you can really find like where you're tight like i said on my glutes i could just really feel where i'm tight and i'm going to show you so once your leg like bent kind of like in a 90 degree kind of like you're doing like a pigeon stretch just like shaped like an l and from here all i'm going to do hand your hand up your hand um up right here is like a I think they say like a beginner level. If you want more pressure, you go to your elbow. Now you get a lot of pressure in that glute. And then if you want all the pressure, you lay down. I'm not going to do that because it's going to hurt me. So I'm going to start up here because this is plenty enough pressure I have. And from here, all I'm going to do, like I said, active release. I could just sit on here and just breathe. I could feel my muscle releasing. But if I activate it, boom, I bring this hip internally in and then go down, I can feel the muscles crunch. I'm trying to act, release that glute muscle. My glute's like this right now. I need it to be like that. So when I fire, it can fully flex. If the muscle's fully flexed and I want it to fire, it's gonna, it ain't gonna wanna go nowhere. So always gotta make sure those hips are loose. A little bit on the, on the right spot. Boom, bring the hip in, come down like I said. I, I do about five times on my leg going in like this. And I switched different. I switch a different spot on my glute. 
So five pumps right here, five pumps right here. And then let me move it a little bit because it's um, loosening up. So five pumps right here. And you can all mess, mess around with this. So from here, as I said, you had your leg right here, like, a, like an L going up. Now you guys can do like kicks. So come up like a squat. Mm, bring it up like I'm squatting. Knee to my chest. Knee to my chest. Knee to my chest. And another one, if you have really tight glutes, come up more on your glute right here. Like I said, lean. I'm on my form. And from here, keep my legs straight. I'm gonna do this one over here. Keep your legs straight, come up internally. Go back down. I'm not on the right spot. Now I'm on the right spot. Come up, one. I said five pumps. Mm. You'll feel like a crunching feeling. You just want to breathe. Four, five. So that's my way I um, release my glutes. Like I said, it's helped me get back to squatting when my hips were super loose. I, I pulled um, eight plates on the deadlift 765, and that was all due to being um, having the best mobility because I had horrible mobility. And I just always felt like my deadlift was like plateaued. And as soon as I focused on mobility, I wasn't even training heavy. I pulled a really big PR. And like I said, I also got hurt from lack of mobility. So I'm gonna show you one other one that I do to release my uh, ankles and my calves. So we got this muscle right here, your tibialis. It goes all the way down to your ankle, all the way to up here. Um, I used to focus really rolling up here because it was really tight from squatting. But now I'm focusing more on my ankle, my ankle joint. That's gonna allow my knee to go more over my toe without that heel coming up. So I'm gonna come, you can do this, I'm gonna do it on the bench. So it's a little more easier. So put on the bench, put your foot up right here. Right here at your like, like I said, it's almost like at your ankle, lower calf. From here, put a little bit of pressure, not too much weight, it will really hurt. And all you wanna do is pump, like I said, active release, toe up. Toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down, toe up, toe down. Like I said, five times, and then move it. Let me go up a little bit. Oh yeah, I can feel how much tighter it is on the way up. Like I said, just do it five times, and then go all the way up to your knee. By far, this was like the one that got my knee feeling like really good without pain. Um, because like I said, I was stretching my ankle, doing all the stretching stuff you could do for your ankle. But until I started active releasing my ankle and my, my hip like every day, that was when I drastically started to feel no pain in my knee. And that was because I had mobility and it wasn't discomfort sending my knees over my toes. So like I said, five times, pump, and then move all the way to the tip of your knee. But like I said, make sure you guys doing these Ankle releases, I'm telling you, your squats will feel way better. And your deadlift and all your other lifts. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you how to roll up, I mean, active release your pecs. Um, I did it on the big foam roller, like I said, just like that. This is a little bit more like trigger point, easier to find your muscles that are like tying up. So I'm gonna go into my front delt right here, find a wall or pole right here, put pressure in. All I'm gonna do is like mimic a bench press. Come back, press forward. Come back, press forward. Come back, press forward. Like I said, this is active releasing your chest. So much. If your chest is super tight, it's not gonna work at its full potential. We want that full potential all the time in all our muscles. That's how we're gonna grow. If everything's locked up, you ain't gonna grow no more. And you're not gonna gain any strength. You're gonna get hurt. Boom. So five times, like I said, change the spot. Peck, go a little bit lower down the peck. And now look at this right here. Just go check, come back. Retract, come back. This is my favorite owner here. You can really feel it. Open up the front delt when you open up this hand. And the best thing about these things are small. You could travel with them. Um, they don't take up a lot of space like a foam roller and they're I said I use this every time before I work out If I don't use it before I work out, it's just not the same So I recommend you getting them and they're super cheap. I think they're like 10 15 bucks. So super affordable and I said life-changing
All right, guys, let's finish wrapping up my mobility routine. Like I said, active mobility has the best stuff to increase your mobility. Like I said, if you have better mobility, less chance of injury, and you'll just feel better, move better, and obviously just let your muscles grow. When you're all locked up, you're going to grow. And let me touch base. We got the FitCon uh, June 4th and 5th, so make sure you guys pull up. We'll be there having a good time. Can't wait. It's going to be outside. Fit, fit Expos are coming back, so hope to see you guys there.